When was the last time you had your eye appointment? For many, it may have been years since you made a visit. Spectrum News Healthy Living reporter Amanda O'Hara has more on how to keep your eyes healthy in today's report. In the last year, the CDC says only half of the 61 million people with high vision loss risk have been to an eye doctor. Those numbers are alarming, but one optometrist says an eye appointment can reveal much more about your health. I use this little lens. Optometrist Serena Buchanan of My Eye Doctor says the eyes can provide insight to other concerns when it comes to your health. So pretty much getting a full comprehensive eye exam, getting your eyes dilated, you can look into the vasculature in the back of the eye, see the starting signs of elevated blood pressure, and then also there can be bleeding spots in the eyes, there can be areas indicating poor blood flow, swelling in the eyes, and then a growth of new blood vessels depending on the severity of say the high blood pressure or the diabetes. This here is swelling inside the eye. This here, poor circulatory issues. Devices like computers and cell phones could also be having an impact on your vision. It's important that we always stress the 20-20-20 rule. So every 20 minutes, look about 20 feet away for about 20 seconds. And that way it can reduce the um, demand that you have on your eyes. But it's not just electronics that can affect your vision. It's also your diet. A lot of ingredients inside care is that are healthy for the eyes. And then just a good healthy diet full of green leafy vegetables, lean meats, nuts. All those have protective factors for the eyes like antioxidants, vitamin A. With the summer months, protecting your eyes from the sun with sunglasses is key. A lot of people aren't aware, but there's a lot of rays and UV lighting that's emitted from the sun that can cause harm for the eyes. Optometrist Serena Buchanan recommends getting your eyes checked every year to make sure your eyes are okay. For your healthy living, I'm Amanda O'Hara.